how to offer the long mandala of the 37 heaps. So start with a basin, a portable lap. This is especially good if you're sitting in a chair and not cross-legged. Something uh, nice and wide and fairly shallow for your mandala set, uh, wrapped in the cloth that's about 115 centimetres square and with the brocade part closest to you, with the loop, you can either button it around your neck or you can wind it around your neck. Then the other pointy part, so a diamond shape furthest away from you, weighs it on the disc, uh, so it's nice and firm there in front of you. The mandala base and the three rings. So make sure that the rings are all up the right way. You can tell by looking at the auspicious symbols that are there and there'll be bowls of fruit and offerings. So have them ready, put them on the side, as well as your Dharma Chakra, put it to the side. Have a few grains in your left hand and then hold the base. So you hold the base with your fingers in the middle of the base, not the edge or your fingers will break off, but in the middle, and with your thumb on the top, so that when you put the rings, there is something for them to lean against and they won't fall off. And you have a few grains in your hand so that you're not offering an empty mandala. Then sprinkle a few grains onto the base, get a handful, and what we're doing first in a clockwise direction, purifying obscurations. So as if you're washing with the um, inner part of your wrist, three, seven times, many times, and Think that you're washing away all of the obscurations of oneself and all sentient things. Make sure that you release those obscurations. So have the base tipped away from you. You can think of specifics like COVID, COVID as well as the inner contagion. And then when the umze starts the chant, one handful with your fist upwards, Starting a place closest to you three times, bringing the blessings of body, speech and mind of all the Buddhas towards you. Release the jewels. Make sure that there's some that stays on the base and put your first ring. Sprinkle a few grains, the vibes are ground. Then one long continuous uh, sprinkle from the place closest to you, the east, all the way round, the Vajra fence. Another handful in the middle, Mount Meru. In the four continents, the places closest to you, east, to your left, furthest away, and to your right. The eight subcontinents. So this is like doing backstitch starting at the east, closest to you, left and right. Another handful. Back, right, left. On the right, closest to you, then furthest away. So that's the eight subcontinents. Then the four precious things. The insignia of the human realms. The mountain of jewels. The wish granting tree. The wish of the lean cow, the unplowed harvest, then the Rinpoche's and the precious vase. So the seven precious emblems, uh, diamond square closest to you, the wheel, the precious jewel, the precious queen, the precious minister, then the square, the precious elephant, the precious horse, the precious general, and the precious vase. Next ring, the goddesses, the Mars. So this is small diamond square. So you might need quite big handfuls for this. The goddesses, the beauty of garlands, of song and dance. So that's the diamond, then the square. The goddesses of flowers, incense, light, and perfume. Top ring. Four big handfuls, the sun on your right, 
the moon on your left, the precious umbrella, the protection of the Dharma at the point closest, uh, furthest away from you, and the victory banner over all delusions, point closest to you. And then the Dharma chakra on the top, all the riches of gods and humans. And then a few grains in your right hand, and then you can hold the mandala with both hands. Have your thumbs on either side so that it's stable. Make sure that your Dharma chakra is squished down quite well so that it's stable. And then uh, offering the mandala, remember who we're offering to, the Guru Buddha. Remember why we're offering with a bodhicitta motivation for the enlightenment of all sentient beings. Remember the interdependence of the offering. Idam guru rana mandala kamni atayami. And then send your mandala off, tip towards you, and with a few grains left in the right hand, an auspicious rainfall of flowers spontaneous filling all of space. I think your mandala is very joyously received. And then make sure you pack it up nicely, everything up the right way, all the auspicious symbols, put them there in the middle. The Dharma Chakra in the middle of the ring so you know where to find it. The mandala base on top so everything's nice and secure. Then the front and back of the cloth. Put those two points together. And then wind, wrap down the front and the back points all the way down to the, to the base of the mandala and all the way to the ends, the corners on each knee. Then you tie those two ends together. You just need to tie them once. They won't unravel. And then it's all nicely put back. Enjoy.